EMG. 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 What's up, you guys? It's your girl Q to the U to the E E E. Queen and I am back again with another mother loving video. As you guys can tell by the title, I am filming a another hair video. So, ladies, I know you're like, yeah. The guys are like, uh, okay, on to the next video. And yeah, this is a partner video with Hair Spell, you guys. I'm gonna be showing you guys three different ways that you can style your lace frontals. This was a 316 frontal wig, but I got it dyed. Uh, I said blue. I'm colorblind now. Uh, got a dot orange. Um, the wig is fairly light. It's not a wig that feels very heavy. Um, I feel like there's enough hair on it where it doesn't feel like it's too much. And keep in mind, it is the summertime. As you guys know, I am a dancer, so I did wear this class to two classes. Mind you, I had it done for two days, and it's still pretty good intact. Um, other than that, in the class, it did not get tangled up. Mind you, I'm a wild dancer. I'll be wild, and I'll be you know, getting it, getting it. It didn't. It still flowed. This is the second day, two classes. You feel me? And I just straightened it. When I did get my hair installed, it holds a curl, which it holds color. It holds a curl. And when you straighten it, it still keeps its luxury like feel. Like it feels so good, even after it being sweated. Actually, I did wash this hair when I was in the shower this morning. So like that's basically you see. This is the blow dry, and I already kind of straightened it already. I just gotta do this part right here at the top. Um. And it's the second day, and I already washed it, and I've been sweating it. The hair is keeping up very, very well. There's minimum shedding, nothing that you couldn't handle, because, you know, all hair sheds, no matter what. Other than that, I'm super satisfied with this hair. I would definitely recommend getting it again, especially... I do want to try a different color, so hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. But I do want to try another color. I don't really know. I do know, but I don't want to tell you guys. So comment down below what color you think I would try next if I partner with Hair Spells again. You got to check out their website. They are very, very affordable. Like, very, very affordable. A lot of their, race, their uh, lace frontal wigs vary from either $60 to $100, depending on what you want. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. This is a 316 frontal wig. Inches is 16 inches. Um, as you guys can see, this is a straight. I didn't want something so, so long, but like 16 inches is a good length, I feel like, for the summertime. And yeah, anything else about this hair will be in the description down below. Make sure you check out their website and get spontaneous. Get a blonde wig. Color it because you can see they take colors and don't be afraid to like really get away from them and just think outside the box because they have so many different wigs that they offer you guys whether it be a lace front to closure so on so be it so let's get into this video i am about to style this wig for you guys because i do have somewhere to go today i wanted to go bone straight but part of me want to give myself a little flare like a little loose wave so i'm gonna straighten this part again for you guys and then you guys will see um I'm going to straighten this part, and then you guys are going to see me put a little volume to it with the curl so you guys can see how well it takes a curl. Okay, honestly, if I really wanted to, I could get away with wearing it bone straight just for today. But because I like to be a little bit extra, I am going to add some curls. So I'm going to show you guys now how this takes a curl. I'm trying to scoop my chair up so I can get close to the curlers. But yeah, about to do all that. So this is style number one. You can definitely wear it straight. And girl, this is bone. I didn't do baby ears with this one, you guys. But yeah, you can definitely do it straight. And if you want to get spontaneous, you could do a middle part. But my middle part might look a little weird right now because I didn't prep my wig for a middle part. And I don't know how to do that because I'm not a stylist. But I'm just showing you guys that you can part it, literally. You can part it wherever you really want to part it because it is a frontal wig. So you have the options to be as free as you want with your parting with this wig. Second look, you can curl it. I'm keeping my side part because, like I said, I love my side parts. But now let's add some length to it. Yes! That curl, y'all, is bugging out. And I do all my um, parts in big gaps. Because it's not like, and that's what I love about the hair because it's not so much hair. You don't have to part it like individually because that takes forever. Let me part in this once because I like for my curl, for my front to flare back a little bit higher. So I'm going to separate that one. It's always good to, when you're curling your hair, to pin up the curls that you, you do first so that they don't drop. 
because it's hot. My room isn't super hot, so I'm not, I don't think that it's going to drop. And then also, I want the loose look, so I don't mind it dropping. You know what I do? I just get closer to, like, this part. And this one, I'm going to start a little bit higher so that I can have that flare look because I didn't want her to put layers in my hair. Be careful, don't burn your forehead. Somebody probably watched, like, you're doing it wrong. I know. Comment down below. Give me tips. See the difference? Oh, my gosh. Let's do a thumbnail. Wait, where's the thing? Let me get a thumbnail because this is cute. So we're about to get a thumbnail. I don't have no makeup on. My face does look so good. I think I should do a, a skincare review. Honestly, I mean, skincare routine. Honestly, I do not do anything crazy to my skin. I just wash it with Dove soap. It's super affordable, girl, because not everybody, not everything works for my skin anyway. So let's them down. Honestly, this could be the third look right here. And I'm playing. We give it straight and we give it color. I mean, we give it straight and we give it girl. And I'm like, we not go out like that, though. Because you can definitely wear it, honestly, in four. You can have it pulled back into a ponytail as well. I just don't want to mess my curls up. So give me one second. I'm going to show you the, the fourth look then. So this here bomb. I've been getting compliments on this color like crazy. Where did you get your hair from? Who did it? Same questions, and I'd be like, Here's spells, girl. Check them out, and I'll show them their Instagram and they take a picture. And then they'd be like, Who colored it? And I'm like, Rima, my girl, Rima. So, yeah, definitely when you're curling your, your weave, you do not have to put it at its highest. I personally do, and my hair, this hair isn't even burning, it's at its highest right now. You know, how sometimes when you dye, when you use heat to weave, you smell it burnt. And then sometimes some weave does just, you know, have that. But one thing you can do is get a product to put on top of it. Because sometimes it's not the weave. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be like, I'm never buying from that company again because they just smell burnt. I mean, you are frying it. Because think about it. When you do your own hair, what does it smell like? Burnt. Exactly. So do not blame it on these companies. But no, for real though. Um, when you're curling your hair, you should not put it at the highest. Especially not your normal hair. But when you don't weave, you shouldn't. You should still want to treat it as if it's your real hair. So you should not put it at its highest. Sometimes you don't have to. But some, you know, some stylists, they'll tell you not to. Even though they do it. That's because they're professionals. And they know what they're doing. They know how long to keep the heat on your on the actual hair itself. See, I don't have a... Uh... Now, when you do curls to your hair... Oh, sorry. When you do curls to your hair, you want to... Oh, my lips. <laughs> when you do curls to your hair... You don't want to brush it out with a, a, a small comb. You honestly just want to brush it out either with your fingers or with a wide tooth comb. I don't have one, so literally I'm just going to go like this. Oh. Yes, here. You're giving me body. I just got to fix this a little bit. One second. I told you guys three looks already that you could do with this hair, which was one bone straight, which you guys already saw. And then the second look was the curl. And mind you, I told you guys you could either part it here middle or other side also a third look i told you guys to do which i did not show you an example of because i already curled my hair and i don't want to mess it up is a straight back ponytail so all you really have to do honestly is just pull your hair back to a slick ponytail give yourself some baby hairs i don't know how to do baby hairs so i'm not going about to mess it up the next install i do i will add baby hairs i just wanted to try something different with this hair and i'm super super excited the third fourth the fourth hairstyle you can do with this hair is I have a pat down. I'm going to show you guys that really fast. And all you're going to do is pull this up. <gasps> my camera's about to die. I'm probably going to mess my girls up. Okay. Let's pull this up really fast before my camera dies. Before it dies. Okay. You can take the top. Put it in a little. You feel me? Oh, I was waiting for the sun to come back. No. We can't wait for the sun. My camera's about to die. So you can put a nice little point up right here. And we're half up, half down, a nice little, you know, to give it something else. But let me go back because this is the hairstyle I am going to wear it in today. So let's hurry away for my camera die. But that's all for this video. If you guys like this video, whoa, wait, wait, wait. There you go. See, and you can do a nice little. If you, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you go down the description down below and check out hair spells. Everything about this hair will be in the description down below. I'm talking really fast and my camera's about to die. It's literally blinking right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more color videos let me know down below and we'll see if we can get some more colors going for you guys but yeah if you care to show me love all i want you to do is give this video a thumbs up and that's it if you feel like subscribing peace love and chicken grease and i'll see you guys in the next little mother loving video bye